Hello. Pretty, pretty. So, let's get into it. Today, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about Node and PHP. And the reason why I'm gonna talk to you about Node and PHP is very simple. I'm gonna compare the two and I'm gonna give you my take on what is my favorite features with these two languages and when I think one it makes a little bit more sense than the other. Now, let's get into it. So, the first and foremost thing I love about PHP is how easy it is to get started. It's a very, very simple language to get going with. I would say that it's probably one of the easiest languages to get started if we exclude, like, you know, not doing Node.js, but rather just JavaScript right in the browser, because then you can probably, if you're on a desktop right now, you could start writing JavaScript code in your browser right, like right now. And PHP marginally requires a little bit more. You would have to go to, I can't remember the website, but there's a co project called SAMP or WAMP or LAMP, if you will, which is really great for, for beginners. And it's actually the first tech piece of technology that, I, that's the first programming I ever did as a, you know, when I started doing programming. It's the whole reason, like, like the whole reason I learned programming in the first place was thanks to this project and one more person. His name is Kevin Skoglund, and I have no affiliation with him whatsoever. He made, back in the day, a few very, very nice tutorials series about PHP programming that's on lynda.com. Again, no affiliation whatsoever, I'm just relaying information here. And that's where I started. First time ever play, uh, playing around with programming was to his tutorials, and I learned a lot from them. They were very good, and then it kind of took off from there. So when it comes to learning basic programming, I think PHP is actually a really good starting point. It's going to give you a very, very nice introduction to building web pages. Because, and even my first project at, like uh, we had a, a, like a, course, a course summary project or like a finals project at Harvard. Like, and basically we, we, learned, we, we had studied C, uh, basically just basic C in computer science for like a few months. And then we basically had the objective or like the task of building a web page in PHP land. And it was actually very smooth. It, 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 it's, it's actually funny because we spent, I don't know, like four months maybe learning C and the course for learning PHP was literally tr three minutes. The teacher just flipped through <laughs> all of the slides with PHP because it, you know, it, it, we kind of, you know, it was obviously a joke because we kind of knew a little bit ahead of time and like we weren't complete, be complete beginners anymore. But PHP is actually that easy to pick up. It's very, very simple to get started. So that's a really strong argument for PHP. And apart from it being a simple language to start with, it's one of the workhorses off the web. It's probably the most widespread and used language for web development, which also is a really strong case. You know, WordPress, for example, it's running on PHP. Anywho, then we have Node.js, and this is the world's most popular I will say, I, uh, I might be biased here, but JavaScript and Node.js is the world's biggest programming language. Like, I think it even officially passed Java a little while back in terms of search popularity on Google. Uh, funny enough, it's the, it's like, <laughs> oh, I, I just love how, how insane the development curve of Node.js has been. The adoption rate is enormous. I actually go, like today, I'm actually a little bit sad, like being someone who's been working in JavaScript land for quite a while now, I am actually a little bit sad at how powerful Node.js is because I was talking about PHP being a workhorse. Node.js is even more of a workhorse than PHP is, in my opinion. And it's because it's, I actually struggle to find a reason to use another language, to use something aside from like Java, just JavaScript and Node.js. And many times I can't justify it. Like I like Go, for example, Golang, and I really want to get into some projects working with Go. And I struggle to find a nice project where it would make more sense to use Go than Node.js. And I find it very difficult because it's such like, Node is so diverse. <laughs> it's just insane. 
you can run it in the browser you can run it on the server you can compile it down to mobile applications you can use it for desktop applications you can use it for anything it is it is like a universal it's the closest thing i think we have to a universal language and on top of that it has the biggest community in the world if you want to learn javascript today it's the best time to learn javascript there is such a massive community there's so many tools to learn from there's so much energy in that community that it's just unbeatable and it can do pretty much everything you could possibly want to do i actually have a few videos where i try to sell you on the idea that you should be it, that this should be your first programming language and i still stand by that if you don't know programming start with javascript because no other language is going to give you more for learning one single language however this is a comparison with between php and node so i've talked a little bit about what i like about these two languages and as you may or may not hear they're very similar and they are they are very similar there are a few things that I think should be considered when, from one to the other. And as you may, you may think that just because I've spent most of my career in Node.js, I'm going to be all biased and tell you that, oh, you should just go with JavaScript. And I'm not, because I believe that I have found the one thing that I truly believe PHP outdoes JavaScript every single day of the week. And what is that? Don't tell anyone. But JavaScript is absolutely horrible, or rather Node.js is absolutely horrible, in my opinion, when it comes to rendering web pages. Rendering is horrible. It is so, like, it, the support for rendering in Node.js land, like using EGS or like Jade, or so it used to be Swig, but that's, I think the support for that is now discontinued and so forth. Rendering in JavaScript is not as developed as it should be. PHP is the heavyweight champion of rendering web pages. It was the entire design of the language when it started out. It is the most powerful, in my opinion, rendering programming language in the world. It is the best at it because it was made to do so. And I really think that's a strong argument for it. Now, that means that once again, in my opinion, if the thing that you're building is a, like you're building a static web page, you're building something that's going to use HTML, CSS, you want to get started quickly, you want it to be performant, you want to have the best tool suite at your disposal for making a performant web page without a lot of fancy you know, stuff around it, you, you, you should go with PHP, in my opinion, if that is the goal. If your goal is to use to build something like a distributed system or your goal is to you know microservices yada 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 or let's say that you have a single page application you're going to use a lot of react you're going to use that i'm not saying that you can't do this in php but i'm saying that having node.js on the server like node.js is extremely good at API based type of systems where you don't render things, you don't do heavy computations on the server, you simply do make a request that usually goes to a database, fetches some data and sends it back to the client. Node.js is amazing at that. It may be one of the best at doing something like that because when it comes to handling network requests, Node.js will outperform most languages. It's really good at that. So Think a little bit about what you're building. If you're building an API or something of that nature, something that's just going to handle a lot of network traffic, then I absolutely think you should stick with Node.js. It's a really good, strong language for that. And it's a very good argument that if you're going to build a web shop or a web page or something like that, then you should look into PHP because PHP does this, does this extremely well. As I said, probably better than other, in any other language. So these are two very nice, I think, thoughts to carry with you when you pick between these two languages. And I hope this was useful to you.